Hello everyone, welcome back to part four of our Exchange and Azure video. In part uh, B, um, which is the fourth part, just split up the videos, we basically went through installing uh, UCMA Runtime 4 and the Visual C++ um, 2012 and 2013 <clears throat> binaries. So what I've done now is I've extracted the ISO file that I downloaded and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to prepare Active Directory using the command line before we actually run the installation. So the first thing you need to do is obviously navigate to where you've downloaded it and then you need to run the setup with the prepare AD switch and then obviously accept the license terms. So this is going to be the first step before we actually do the exchange installation. and. Generally, this step doesn't take too long. Now, the reason I mentioned in part A, when we installed the PowerShell prerequisites that we needed the RSET tools, is instead of having this run on a domain controller, if you have RSET tool, tools installed, um, you can obviously then run it from your Exchange server directly. Um, just be aware that this account needs to obviously be elevated to be able to run the preparation. So, because it's a new, obviously new um, installation, I um, didn't put in the organization name, which is great that it actually happened so that you can see. Um, I'm just going to give it a name. You can call it what you want. So because it's a command line, obviously you specify organization name. This is not obviously the GUI. If you run it with the GUI, it would have already populated the organization name for you. So now it should go and basically do a prerequisite check that, you know, can I run this? It will fail immediately if there is an issue. So we are at 96%. Okay, so what it's actually saying here, and it's not failed, hasn't failed, it's saying here that no Exchange 2007 roles have been detected. So what this means is you cannot introduce anything legacy into the environment anymore. You can't install 2007, 2010. You can only install Exchange 2013 servers, right, going forward. Now, as you can see here, it's actually doing the organization preparation now take into account that this is a lab with a single DC, so replication will be instant. Um, it's not going to be like a big environment where you have five, six, maybe more domain controllers that this has to replicate across, maybe stretched data centers, maybe you have a stretched um, active directory. Sorry about that, I just uh, paused the video there, f or the volume, should I say, for a couple of seconds. So this obviously, as I was mentioning, will take a bit longer to replicate, uh, not in this instance because it is um, a single environment. But what we'll do is after this one, we're going to obviously prepare the schema and then I will just, you know, pause the video so that you know you just make sure that it has replicated um, and that we don't run into any issues and then after that uh, we'll obviously start our installation
Okay, so as this is taking a little bit longer, um, it should almost be done. Uh, normally the prerequisites are quite quick to prepare AD and prepare schema. It might prompt us for a reboot after this, but I will run the prepare schema and then we will see after that. Let's just give it a couple more seconds to complete itself. So some of you may be wondering, I uh, have been asked, like, has, has it crashed ever here? So no, it hasn't. Um, and sorry for the background noise. Um, it hasn't ever crashed on me here. It normally fails in the beginning, not on the actual organization preparation. I've, I have never seen that. So if you do come across, it will be great to know. Okay, so we are now done, as you can see. It completed successfully, so I'm just going to clear the screen and I'm just going to um, take this out. And I just want to prepare the schema now. So let's go and prepare the schema. And again, it's got to copy its files across and do its thing. I'm just going to silence the video again quickly and I'll be back. Hi, right, and I'm back. Um, as you can see, the prerequisite analysis completed successfully. There was no warnings or errors. And you can see now that it is actually extending the Active Directory schema to obviously CU23. If I was on an earlier version of Exchange 2013 um, and there were no schema changes, obviously nothing would have, um, would have changed in any way. Um, but because it's a brand new domain and setup, we have to obviously run this and we'll do the same with Exchange 2019 once we introduce it. So we are almost done with this part. And we have basically completed our AD and our schema um, preparation. I'm going to reboot my server now. Um, I just like to reboot uh, after I've done things so that it doesn't tell you that you have a pending reboot when you run the actual installation. And then we'll come back onto the final um, section of part four, which will be installing Exchange 2013. So see you shortly. Thank you very much for watching.